Mike Parallack here to entertain you with the help of former SNL cash member Garrett Morris. I'm gonna get me a gun and kill all the white heterosexual males I see. I'm gonna get me a gun and kill all the white heterosexual males I see. When I kill all the white heterosexual males I see, then white heterosexual males will no longer bother me. <laughs> I'm gonna get me a gun and kill all the white heterosexual males I see! <laughs> I did that to prove a point. White heterosexual males are the only group of people you can talk smack about without raising repercussion <laughs> on social media. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if this matter doesn't go all the way to the Supreme Court, we know the corruption within our government is beyond reparation. Trump fired a cabinet, you know, if it was a cab yeah, cabinet member, I believe it was a cabinet who was in charge of uh, the, uh, um, you know, uh, notifying the president on, on tech and stuff. Now, uh, and he did it via, twi via, via Twitter. <laughs> That's the definite of transparency. Little thing the Democratic st Party doesn't know a thing about. Yeah, it's a given that the Democratic Party has failed we the people. That's a given. If Trump doesn't win, that just means that the Republican, far, the Republican Party has failed we the people as well. Oh, God. The end of a 12-hour shift for me. I, uh, not only do I listen to music, but I also listen to uh, audio audiobooks sometimes at work. So, yeah, I listen to Gen X, Jenny McCarthy, an <laughs> open book. <laughs> now, apparently... Uh, <clears throat> Her first uh, photo shoot at the play, uh, with the Playboy industry, she um, she said that the, one of the photographers uh, came up to her and said, "I'm gonna f I'm gonna fart here because I don't want to fart over there by the producer, by the producer." <laughs> hey, maybe it was a fetish for the guy. <laughs> That's a thing in Germany. <laughs> Competitive farting. <laughs> oh, okay, twelve hours. Uh, I'll end this video with the. Uh, Short and sweet. Just end this one with a thought that occurred to me today. If cleanliness is in fact next to godliness, then I hypothesize that organization is damn near holy. Mike Verilak, thank you for watching.